Everybody, how y'all doing? Happy Tuesday to you. As you can see, I look like fucking Rudolph tonight. Uh, yeah, allergy season officially hit me like it hit me with a two by four. Got to work and all of a sudden just boom. Had to run up to Target real quick, get some allergy meds and uh, some nasal spray. Didn't do too well. I mean, it's redder than shit. But uh, yeah, today, uh, if you Pay attention to Discord. I uh, posted a video of what I did today. It's going to be a short show tonight. We're talking like an hour. I'm just, I'm so tired right now. I can barely keep my head up. And uh, I couldn't miss another show. I, I During the week, it's tough. But I'm here for a short time tonight. Uh, we left off last night, hour 15 minutes into Explicit 1. And Unit 5, C27, 
We had one EVP last night. We could not determine what it was. Uh, so that long-winded statement there. Got through all of it. Shocking. Uh, if you missed it last night, the beans are back for subs and donations. Uh, yeah, let's just get through all the proverbial proverbial bullshit. There, managed to get that one out and uh, get through some audio. Let's go. Yep, that's me cracking my cocktail. What's up, Moose? Stop the prime time, bitch! And there's Deads. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's the resub. <laughs> I kind of figured that was going to be coming up. Uh, let's get up this out of the way so I can get to it. How you doing, Deads? Uh, where we at? Where are you at? Where are you at? You're in here somewhere. Uh, VVP's kind of jump scare. There we are. And I said the wheel's back. Let me get your two spins for the sub out. <laughs> Jalapeno. <laughs> Jalapeno and Reaper. Shocking. You had to get that Reaper in there like always. Jalapeno and Reaper. There's your two. Oh, wow, they changed the recipe on those. Holy shit. Did they ever change the recipe on those Reapers? They are spicy now. My God. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, back to the audio. While my mouth cools down. God damn. That's going to loosen up the sinuses for sure. So we're still sitting at 99 EVPs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Duds. Uh, Moose kind of earned Ears Jr. last night. Had an EVP even I didn't pick up. Uh... We weren't able to get it, but the other one, we did get another one, but we couldn't figure out what it was. It was low. Kind of echoey, too. Yeah, Deads, I'm putting out the feeling not a lot of people want to go this year. Uh, uh, Lingering Souls is not going. Uh, they have three friends on another team that want to go. Yeah, they, they don't think they're going to make it this year. They got obligations. Uh, it could change. I'm trying to get part of my team up there. They're kind of flaking. Uh 
I have one of the guys from my first paranormal team. He's joining for one night. Uh, we still got time, though. Still got time to get people invited, but people are being washy this year, and it's just weird. But we'll see what happens. I know Susan put it up on the uh, NSP Facebook page. So I'm sure we'll get a couple people out of that. I guarantee we'll get a couple people out of that. Uh, I don't know. And like I said, I mentioned it last night, I might have a residential coming up. Wait to see specifics on that one. Really not wanting to do this uh, residential, but they don't have activity in their house. I've been to their house many times. Uh, we'll have to see. A lot of residual sounds. You need to. You need to do a show and analyze it on the show. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you need to get back to streaming there, bud. That is if Van allows it and she doesn't beat you up for it. <laughs> She'll allow it when she's at work. Fair enough. Damn allergies. Yeah, guys, I don't see potential for really anything. I see more sirens than EVPs. I said we got 14 recorders left. Uh, which is what we started with the very first year at NSP. Uh, 
Sorry, guys. Sinuses are burning. Uh, yeah, coming up here in a few minutes. What's up, Nick? Uh, and Nick, you missed it last night. We had about an hour from Jasper. That freaking crow was just insane last night. It's like, oh, come on. Makes you want to throw packets of Tums out in the freaking courtyard. Really silence that crow. Oh, it drove me crazy. Yeah, sirens right up in here. If you guys, uh, I know Moose saw it. Uh, I posted a video in Discord uh, of my day. If you guys want to get a, a good idea of what I do most days, take a look at the video I posted today in chat. In shit chat, you'll you'll understand why some nights I don't do shows. So, the sirens don't bother me though as much as the motorcycles. Because you can discern the sirens. Motorcycles could be doors, could be people, could be anything. But the sirens have that waveform. I really hope this year, though, Susan will let me into the execution chamber. I'm getting tired of getting jerked around with it. I said, if she doesn't, I've, I don't know if I'll go back. I'll find another location to investigate. Uh, I hate saying it like that, but she's let everybody in but me. But, you know, it's not trying to be negative on the show. I want to connect with a few other spirit, spirits. Hold on. Let me go back here. I want to connect with a few other spirits other than, than Eddie. Uh, I think it'd be interesting to do a couple experiments in there I want to see if I get a you know get a little bit of money together and just tip Susan on the side and say hey lock me in the execution chamber shut the door strap me to the table and leave and see what I can get. Uh, I know that's saying a lot, compared, knowing a lot of people died in that room and trying something that ballsy. Uh, I've talked to a lot of people saying theoretically, hold on, a couple spikes coming.
motorcycle. Uh, theoretically, would would they do it? And they're like, "You're out of your mind, Brent." No, it's like. Uh, yeah, I've got that in the back of my mind that I could get a serious attachment or get really attacked by the spirits there for disrespecting that. If it was my first investigation, yeah, I could see getting attacked for provoking doing that. But because I've been there investigating, well, this will be the fifth year. The spirits know I don't mean it in disrespect, but I still think they'd probably put me in check for trying it. Do a reenactment. It's not a bad idea. And Deads will know what I mean by this. See if we can get Joe in there and lead me into the execution chamber and strap me in. Have a gar a former guard of the prison Lead me in there and strap me down. I think that'd be cool as shit. I think it'd be dangerous as hell to try that, but I think it could be interesting. Joe would in a heartbeat, and I'm sure he'd probably say, Brent, you're fucking crazy. You know, you're out of your mind for even thinking doing this. I can assure you he'd probably say that. I would unleash something probably on myself. We might be taking a trip to a church to talk to a priest if I, if I can get away with doing this. And his deadpan Tony goes, Brent, you're out of your fucking mind. But I'll help you. I'd be like, Brent, you're doing the most fucked up thing ever. You're not far off. And there's Jack. Say hi to everybody, Jack. It's the troublemaker. Yep. Now he's just being nosy. <laughs> the pen loving cat. Yeah. And if I take a drink out of my water bottle, I have to give him a drink too. If I if I break out the smart water, I have to pour some in the cap for him to drink. Otherwise, he pouts. Definitely the mascot of the show.
Guys, I really do not see a lot happening here. Sorry guys, had to sneeze. Uh, uh, I don't know if we'll get Jasper now. It, it might be a little bit late for him. We're an hour and a half in. It would be... Oh, uh, 6 o'clock. There's still time for Jasper to come through. Yeah, frickin' sirens. Good thing about going back to Carson again this year, uh, Dutch Brothers and uh, U.S. Sub Base. Best subs you'll ever frickin' have. I am looking forward to great big, like, foot-long sub this year. I know Dez is going to be like, oh, hell yes. Yeah, this makes... This makes Subway look like eating out of a trash can lid. Not that I ever have. Uh... Yeah, you go there, it's, uh, when I was, I was there, what, four days? I think I had three days of that, I, We I had a sub there. Three or four days I had a sub. Never even heard of Lexi's Pizza. Got to be a regional thing. Just like U.S. sub bases, uh, it's regional, Carson City only. Yeah, it's residual doors. We'll go back, back a little bit. That could be on the roof. Mind you, these roofs aren't in the greatest shape. Yeah, very old roofs, mind you. When the prison finally shut down in 12, 2012, uh, all the maintenance stopped. Uh, that's why they uh, don't allow people to investigate. All the money goes to the repairs. Uh, but there's so much to repair, they can only do so much. And it's sad. It's If I ever won Powerball... I'm donating, I'm donating a million to the prison. <laughs> if I win 400 million after taxes, oh yeah, the prison's getting a mill off the top. 
I'm going to be, I'd move up to Carson, full-time docent, help take care of the prison, and donate a million. Let's <laughs> investigate that shit every day. Yeah, one of the, uh, one of the groups that wants to join, uh, Friends of Lingering Souls, uh, they actually messaged me, the guy messaged me last night, he goes, do they have Wi-Fi at the prison? What? It's like, no. The prison closed in 2012. The, the, you have to provide your own hotspot. And good luck getting reception inside to stream from it. Probably not going to happen very, very well. That's what I told him. Bring your own hotspot. <laughs> it's what's internet? Yeah, it's you got concrete and steel that was built, you know, from eighteen hundred, late eighteen hundreds, all the way up to the, you know, nineteen what sixties when they stop when they stop real renovations. You're, you got concrete and steel. You ain't getting reception. I didn't even know how to respond to that. Do they have internet? <laughs> really? In the office. I think they have Wi-Fi in the office. Actually, they don't, but... Yeah, I can't do Subway. Even like Capriotti's is tough. Capriotti's is tough. Porter subs, hell no. Uh, I'm spoiled when it comes to subs. Jersey Mike's. Top of the uh, top of my choices if I had to. Uh, Firehouse subs, one of my favorites in Vegas. Uh, Jersey Mike's probably top five. In all the years I've been going to Firehouse, I had one bad experience. Uh, what a, they didn't cook the meat enough. And it took me a year to go back. Let's just say that. Excuse me, guys. We might not be lined up for anything on section one, guys. Friggin' I hop. Oh my god. No offense, but no. <laughs> I 
IHOP and Denny's? <laughs> Just no. <laughs> no, 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 no. been to Denny's like twice in your life and I hop once once <sighs> to each their own I can't put you down for going to I hop uh, I just I don't like their pancakes I don't like their food uh, Denny's I used to go to a lot Back in my drinking days, uh, when the bar closed, we'd all, like 30 of us, would pile into Denny's. And God, did the waitresses hate us. Uh, Denny's is drunk food. IHOP is Sunday after church when there's nothing else to choose from. It's just like... I, I just can't do IHOP. I'm sorry. I, I get it, but I'm not going to get it. <laughs> what do we have up here? A couple nice little spikes. I mean, to me, IHOP is high-class trailer park. Just saying. Now, Deds will know this one from Vegas because I know there's none anywhere else. What was it, Deds? Uh, Strawberry Hill? I think there was two of them in town. An omelet house? Oh shit. You talk about good food. Omelet house was a shit. And if you're not in Vegas, you're not going to understand that one. I can't do skinny fats. the fuck is that is that a duck that better not be Donald Duck right That's, I don't know. Uh, let's clean it up a little bit, maybe. Uh, could be a bird. Uh, All right. It's a bird. It's a bird. Skinny Fats, I went there once. I had like their spicy chicken sandwich, and it was the worst thing I ever had in my life. Uh, the bun was soggy because of the all the sauce on the chicken breast. 
uh, I couldn't even eat it. It was like just sloppy gook. But I get the attraction. A lot of people love, love skinny fats. Not this guy. Is this a motorcycle or an airplane? Get your guesses in real quick. Probably a, uh, as quick as that is, it's probably a motorcycle or a uh, street racer. Semi. Burger King is hot garbage. You'll never change my mind on that. Uh, I can't eat Burger King anyway. Uh, there's personal reasons. Uh, I think I shared this. I think I shared the story with Deads a long time ago. Uh, back when I was towing, I had uh, I worked a fatality, and it was a total burn. Uh, I was on scene for 15 plus hours. Uh, a Dodge 2500 hit one of those great big construction mover wa uh, construction water tankers, the great big yellow ones on the freaking great big trucks that carry like 500 gallons of water. Uh, guy hit that. Trapped him inside, burned alive. Uh, I got on scene. They already had the what was left of the body exhumed or removed from the truck, uh, and just the smell was just disturbing me. I mean, it was making me sick. Uh, I had to stay there to move the truck around to help with the investigation. They had the body uncovered off to the side. Uh, and there was nothing left. It looked like a lab experiment. Uh, I could even smell it with the with the in the truck with the windows up and the AC on. It was terrible. Uh, short story: They couldn't find the VIN. I found the VIN for them. They kept messing with me because the smell was bothering me. Finally, got it clean up and left. Two days later. Two days later, I see one of the officers at uh, Starbucks, and he's like. How you doing, Brent? It's like, ah, uh, doing all right. He goes, you see any burned bodies lately? I was like, I don't know. You see any VIN numbers? And he literally lost it because they couldn't find the VIN. I had to find it for him. Uh, got home. My buddy calls me up. He's like, hey, Brent, you doing all right? It's like, no. I was like, I'm having serious thoughts about quitting towing. He's like, why I said that, that fatality? He's like, do me a favor tomorrow. Go to Burger King for lunch. It's like, what? He goes, just do it and call me. My buddy was a former paramedic. So he dealt with burns and all this all the time. So about 2 o'clock the next day, I finally make it to lunch. Walk into Burger King and I had to turn around, walk out. I almost puked in the parking lot. Burger King? Smells almost like a burned body. I shit you not. A Whopper smells like a burned body. I called my buddy up. I'm like, you are a asshole. He's like, you went to Burger King, didn't you? I was like, yeah, fuck you. He's like, you're not, it's not bothering you anymore, is it? It's like, no, it's really not. He's like, told you so. It's like, when I see you, I'm going to punch you. To this day, it bothers me to drive past a Burger King. And I drive past one on the way home every day. And I just like roll up the window real quick till I get past it. Then I roll my window back down.
It's like, uh-uh. <laughs> Just no. No, 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 no. But that's, when he said Burger King, that just flashed back in my mind. So you can see we pretty much got nothing here, guys. Uh, let's get Section 2 loaded up. And see where we're at. We got about, about 15 minutes left in the show. Uh, like I said, not going to be a long show tonight. I am beyond wrecked. We're going to at least get an idea of what we've got going. Come on, get loaded. But yeah, it's... Coney Island, Coney Dogs. Eh. Never been to the East Coast. No real uh, plan on it either. <laughs> Effects. Let's go get our noise reduction done. Capture noise point. Should take a minute. Apply. Get our vocal enhancer and we'll get started. I thought Coney Island dogs were a New York thing. New York, New Jersey. Now, Chicago dogs aren't bad. Uh... They're what in Vegas up off of uh, up on the west side, extreme west. There used to be a Chicago dog place, and their their freaking dogs were freaking amazing. Uh, I had gotten their uh, Chicago dog with the peppers, not expecting the peppers to be that hot. Were they that hot? Oh, uh, my mouth and my butthole basically had the same burn for a couple days. I know you guys really wanted to hear that one. All right. Let's get started. Section two. Well, definitely don't see a lot of possibilities. When uh, I will when we finish uh, explicit one, we are gonna do a video. Uh, we're going to do. Let me bring this up real quick so I could know what video we're gonna do. We're gonna do GoPro uh, Go. Night one, GoPro two, in execution viewing. So after we finish explicit one, we're doing night one. Uh, we'll do a couple, we'll finish uh, explicit one recorder. Uh, start into explicit two, then we'll do uh, night two of GoPro two, which is in uh, infirmary. And Deads, if you remember, in Infirmary, my GoPro died after like an hour and a half with the Volta on it. Uh, still can't figure out to this day why. The battery just went zoink. So hopefully uh, we do have some evidence from that. Uh, we'll see. Because all the other GoPros lasted all night. Even the lights on the GoPro lasted pretty much all night. Uh, five hours, six hours are supposed to last three. 
I don't know. Then after we finish explicit one, two, and three, uh, we're gonna get back to Dead's recorders. Uh, we have two more of Dead's recorders to go. Uh, actually, yeah, two. Uh, the Zoom H8 and the uh, task cam Dead's was carrying all night. What's up, Sims? How you doing? You're still hanging in there. You're doing good. Uh, lost my shit the other day. Got drunk and punched something. My hand is super bruised, but felt better, so much better since. That'll teach you not to punch shit. Restaurant 1914. Cool. Yeah, Sims, don't be punching stuff. Keep that temper, temper under control. Don't make me sit you on top of the refrigerator so you can't get down. Put you in timeout on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> she could have been the recipient of a donkey punch. Who says she doesn't like that? It was a rageful sadness. Oh, okay. I can understand. So, yeah. Uh, I mentioned this the other day. Uh, we had a UPS trailer pretty much just abandoned at our dock Friday. We called UPS told them to come get their trailer. They didn't do it. Monday afternoon, we had a UPS trailer impounded away from our dock. Uh, that's going to raise a big storm. Uh, evidently, according to the tow truck driver, uh, qual quality towing has close to... 500 trailers in one of their lots. That's how many trailers are abandoned in this town. Go figure on that one. It's cheaper for the trailers to be abandoned, pay the fine off on them and let them go, than it is to maintain them. Problem is, it was a brand new trailer. It still had the pretty much new floors in it. The airlines hadn't been used that much. You could tell by looking at it. It's like, this trailer was new. 40K for a dry van. Yeah. But still, at a trailer that's not two or three years old, UPS comes to pick it up. I hope I'm out there when they come to get it so I can look right at them and say, uh, we had it impounded. Why'd you do that? You left it at our dock blocking our business. What did you think was going to happen? Oh, oh, what? You're feeling froggy? Go ahead and get out. Get out of your truck. <laughs> I'll just, I'll have my phone up like this recording and my other hand up like this going, yeah, let's do this. Just, just come on. Let's dance. Brent, Brent wants to dance. I'm not going to lead with my left. I'm not going to lead with my left because I got my phone in my hand. 
I'm just gonna freaking dance with my right. I'll show you, froggy bitch, right? UPS, you piece of shit. <laughs> That's what UPS stands for, you piece of shit. I can't say that. The worst is... Uh, worst is DHL. Nick, I'm dead serious. DHL drivers are idiots. In the nth degree. I've had nothing but issues with them. I've had packages disappear from DHL delivery. I don't give a fuck if they're certified. <laughs> they're certified fucking morons. Let me pause this real quick. I have left instructions on delivery to my house. Deliver to the front door. I have a separated garage on my townhouse, which means I have to walk out my back door across my patio into the garage. They leave the packages at the garage door where there's no way I can tell they're delivered. They don't leave it on the doorstep as instructed per the instructions. They just leave it at the garage door and drive away. It's like, and I call them. It's like, where's my package? Well, where, where was it delivered? Not to the front door. It's like, you guys were going to refund me. And I've had it happen three times. They are freaking idiots. Well, the drivers, no, they didn't. You want me to go check my webcam or my door cam? <laughs> They're certified dumbasses. Oh, you said dumbass. I thought you were calling me a dumbass. And you didn't say dumbasses. Yeah, they are. What's up, Tundra? How you doing, bud? Yeah, fuck DHL. <laughs> uh-uh. And one of, the, one of the sites I order through... Yeah, they use DHL. Like uh, Newegg uses DHL. And I forget the other one uh, off the top of my head. But it's like, and I, I'll even say, I'll, I'll pay for parcel post. I do not send it through DHL. Yeah, Tundra, I'm off here in a few minutes anyway. Uh, it's a short show tonight. Uh, it's been a brutal day for me. Uh, if you want to know why, check Discord. I posted a video earlier on what my day was like. Uh, pulling cable for Justin Timberlake's tour, it freaking killed me today. So I got about another, about another five minutes left in the show. It's it's been a bad day. Yeah, Sims, go to Discord and watch the video. You'll understand. <laughs> you will fully understand. Very often, yeah. Uh, it's I've I've called in so many DHL drivers. You want to talk violating the speed limit. Uh, I was coming back to our warehouse, 35 mile an hour zone. This DHL driver blew by me doing like 90, ran a red light. I followed him into the office. I got out. I was like, dude, what's your effing problem? He's like, what are you talking about? Why are you freaking speeding and running red lights? Out comes the manager. I'm like, you need to get rid of your driver. I said, I got it on dash cam. He's like, what do you mean? 90 and a 35 plus running a red light. He goes, what? 
It's like, dude, you better check the logs on that truck. I know it's electronic. It's like, he goes, let me go look. He comes back out, sir, we're taking care of this. It's like, if that driver's here tomorrow, I'm just going to call the police. He's like, oh, he won't be. It's like, yeah, you're right, he won't be. It's like, and I'm not that guy. I'm really not. But triple the speed limit, it's like, uh-uh. <laughs> just, just no. Seems like a lot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Just on one pallet of cables. On the one big pallet of cables is close to 3,000 pounds. And I did it all, loaded it all by hand. One pallet. Yeah, it's. You have a hot UPS driver. You flirt every time you see her. Moose, just tell her you've got a package for her. Oh, that's loud. Hold on. Oh, you have. Did you tell her you'd put a bow on it for her? Or just tie a string to it and say you can make your puppet dance. Ask her if she likes puppets. Tell her you can make your puppet dance. <laughs> That's an instant turn off. It, de it all depends on the delivery. It all is the delivery. If you work it into the conversation, it's not going to fail. Sims, I am the king of cheesy pickup lines, and some of the ones I've used, under most circumstances, would get me slapped. But they work. And do I use them seriously? Of course not, but they get a laugh. Nice shoes. <laughs> I've used like, how do you like your eggs? Scrambled, poached, or fertilized? <laughs> and it's like, oh. It's like, you really think I was serious with that line? It's like, she's like, no, it's like, good. I got you to laugh. Let's talk. All right, that's, <laughs> we're into this, uh, we're into section two, which I wanted to do. Uh, Compliment your eyes and I'm gone. Yeah, every time I look into your eyes, I see the back of your head. Sorry, I had to. I'm sorry, Sims. You know, I didn't mean it. But you left the door open for that one. And I just came crashing through like the coolie man. Oh, that was terrible. 
<laughs> nothing behind them yet. See, I got you to laugh. I got you to laugh. And that's when I use, that's why I use stupid freaking lines just to get the laugh. If you can get the laugh, the smirk, the smile, or that, that one little eye roll, then you get the eye roll, the door's open. But she's like, oh, this guy isn't serious. I hope he's not serious. It's like, yeah, I win. But anyways, guys, uh, I know it's a short show, but like I said, today was brutal. Uh, you can see the nose like Rudolph. Uh, finally got some allergy meds, so hopefully tomorrow goes a little bit better. Uh, make sure and tune in tomorrow night if you can for the birthday show. And we'll have fun with it, I hope. Anyways, guys, have a great night. God bless, and I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Y'all take care.